Welcome to CMG video. Again, I'm going to do another video on my Audi Q7, and this time it's real simple. It's uh, probably about a five minute job. This is due to the temperature on the dash not being correctly, the outside temperature. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna take you through the whole process of where it's located, how to replace it, and simple. I looked around the different forums on the, on the web, and nobody really gave 100% answer to where it was located and uh, what it's causing. What I'm going to show you now is uh, I just turned the car on and you can see that the temperature is going up. So we're going to film the temperature going up. It's in the negative. If you look, see there, it's at see it, negative 9, keeps on going up and it'll reach about negative uh, 19. And what this happens is the AC will stop working because the, it thinks that the outside temperature is that negative and it's too cold for the for the um, AC to come on. Again, so I'm gonna shut the car off now, and I'm gonna take you through the whole process uh, how to change that. And, I, and at the end, I will show you the, the, the new parts that I just uh, purchased from Audi, um, and uh, compare both of them. Again, so I'm gonna turn the car off, and I'm gonna walk around, real simple to do this. And the sensor is located on the passenger footwell underneath which is underneath the glove box and you don't have to take out the glove box as some people say that you have to uh, do all you got to do is just go under it and show you uh, I'll show you exactly where it is so the first thing to do is I lay the seat down so you can lay down with your head down underneath and then what you do is you go underneath here and right underneath the glove box there's like a, a kick panel there there's some holes there. All you really got to do is pull it and snap it out. And then there's a light. You got to be careful because there's a light here. I already had taken this out. There's a light that goes to the uh, to the, the footwell here. So you unplug that light and just move this to the side, which I have. And uh... Okay, as you can see, there's the adapter there. And uh, like I said, you can really see it there. What you're gonna do, and I'm gonna try to hold the video. What are you gonna do is you're just gonna turn it 90 degrees and it should come right out. So I'm gonna try to hold, do this at the same time. Here it is here. So I'm just gonna twist it up towards the windshield. I might have to get in there with my left hand. It's hard to do this. Sorry, I you have to twist it down. Here we go. As you can see, the adapter's there. Here's the, the sensor. And so what I'm gonna do is stop the video for a second. Well, I'll keep it running, huh? There we go. I'll keep it running. And I'm, just like I said, I'm holding the, the camera with one hand, and then with the other hand, there's two clips on the side that you just have to push in at the same time, and the adapter should come out. The sensor, sorry. Trying to get it. And I can't get it with uh, just one hand. So I'm going to pause it for a second. And then I'm going to use both hands. One to hold the, the sensor and to unclip it. All right, as you can see, I was able to get it out. This is the old one. Okay. The old one has a part number of 1K09075438. Now I just picked up the new one from the Audi place. And um, the part number on this one is is 1K09075438. And I'm gonna open it up and you can see it's identical with just a different part number. New, new, new and old. The only difference is a G instead of an A. So they must have modified something on this sensor. Again, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna plug it in and push it into the hole and, and twist it 
up to the to the windscreen to, uh, to take it out you twist it down to the floor and that's pretty much it put the panel back in and that's pretty much uh, all you got to do so like I said it takes probably about five minutes to do um, it took a little bit longer because I'm doing the video but um, again if you, uh, you like this video uh, uh, subscribe and like to some of my other videos you see that I have a few videos on the Audi Q7 um, again this only pertains to the Audi Q7 I don't know about the other models of the different uh, uh, Audis but I know this is the Audi Q7 hopefully uh, once I put this in the temperature will be fine if it doesn't then there's another sensor in the front in the engine compartment that needs to be replaced as you can see I finished uh, putting the, the G89 sensor in and I'm going to show you the difference on the dash where the temperature is actually going up I have it in Fahrenheit as you can see the temperature now is going up and it should you know fluctuate at uh, the temperature outside and uh, from what that uh, tells me is this was a the bad sensor the old uh, um, sensor was bad and now it uh, seems fine and I guarantee you that uh, the AC will start working again again the sensor is the G89 sen sensor again thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to my video uh, and look at some of the other videos that I have out there